Good afternoon. It is the 16th of September, and this is your weekly wrap-up. I want to start this week by talking about Homecoming Week. Uh, this is obviously a celebration on campus, and we have a lot of cool events going on this week. We have Spirit Week all week long. Um, we'll talk about that later in the report. We have a couple of events on campus that everyone is, of course, invited to. We have Powder Puff Games going on most evenings this week. Uh, if you check the website and our social media in the hallways, you can see the times for those. On Thursday, we have our annual bonfire. That'll be at 8.30 out by the um, two greenhouses. Friday, we play Valley here at home. I think it'll be a pretty big, pretty awesome crowd. Um, and then afterwards, we have a dance uh, that folks are allowed to come to and all that. So it's a good opportunity to support the school and support your friends. I do want to take a couple of moments and uh, discuss some of the things we have going on on campus. This past week, we held uh, the District Racial Equity Forum here, uh, which was a very cool event where we talked about the district's racial equity policy and also our school-based racial equity policy. And one of the things that has come out of that that is an opportunity for student voice is one of our students, uh, junior class president Gary Jones Jr., uh, is putting together a black student union on campus. So you will hear him talk about that, and if that's something you're interested in, then you find him, me, Miss Lagrune, or Dr. Tall in the hallway, and we can give you some more information. I also want to remind everyone once again on November 1st, we have our first uh, deeper learning exhibition where we hope to have a ton of students involved with and community members out. Last year we had six to 800 people show up for these things, so we're hoping the turnout is great again this year. Uh, that is on November 1st in the evening, and it's also our open house, so the whole campus will be popping all day. Um, as I move forward in my report for today, I'm going to take a pause, and I'm going to try to splice in some other videos. So if it gets screwed up, this is my first try at it. So let's take a moment, and then I'm going to move on to another topic to discuss. As I talked about the Deeper Learning Exhibition on November 1st, I wanted to point your attention to this board which is here right by the high school office, kind of not hard to find. This board was created last year by Brandon Vaughn as a map, and it was his deeper learning project for our deeper learning events. So you'll see this board updated over the next month or so as we lead up to November 1st. So this is a great place to see where we'll have all of the different exhibitions of learning from our students. This third thing I wanted to talk about today was to mention once again, the backpack of skills. If you come here in the library, You'll see this board that was uh, created by Miss Moore, our librarian, just as a reminder about the backpack of skills. So if you're an eighth grader in this building or a senior, by the end of the year, you're gonna stand up in front of a panel of uh, adults and peers, and you're gonna talk about your learning and why you are ready to transition to ninth grade or why you're ready to transition outside of school, that is graduate. And the biggest component of that transition for the seniors is that you have a plan. We've talked about this for years here at Moore. You know, the, the idea of the future self. What is it that you're going to do when you walk out of school? Is it college? Is it a career? Is it an internship? Is it the military? But what is your plan? And we organize that plan around the five backpack success skills. Pre prepared and resilient learner, globally and culturally competent citizen, emerging innovator, effective communicator, and productive collaborator. As the year goes on, every student, grades 6 through 12, will be accumulating evidence to show their growth in these five different areas and housing it uh, in their Google Drive, uh, us utilizing technology that we have created directly with Google, which is pretty cool that we're, uh, to my knowledge, the only district in the nation that's doing that. Second to last pull out next week, we have uh, homecoming week on both sides of the building. Spirit days are a little bit different. For the middle school, the spirit days are Jersey day, then pajama day, wacky Wednesday, and class color day, and then Friday, Mustang spirit day. Middle school will have a pep rally October 4th, as that's closer to the end of their sports seasons, but it doesn't mean it's not a time to celebrate and be proud of the fact that you go to the largest and, in my opinion, best school in the city of Louisville. My last pullout for this report, homecoming week on the high school side, Monday's Jersey Day, then Frat Day, Meme Day, Squad Day, and then finally the Class Color Day. If you're a freshman, you wear green. If you're a sophomore, you wear pink. If you're a junior, you wear purple. If you're a senior, of course, you are dressed in black. This is one of those opportunities that you can have some fun on campus. We got a lot of really cool stuff going on next week, and 
really your school experience is entirely determined on, on how you want to approach it and what you want to put into it. So I would highly recommend as this week uh, starts, have some fun. Enjoy the fact that you go to, like I said, I think probably the best school in the city of Louisville. And now you know more.